it is my great honor to welcome Daryl Morey. Morning, graduates. Uh, so excited to be here. Shout out to the parents. Hey, guys. Um, they only give me a couple minutes, so I'm gonna I'm gonna dive right in. I just came off uh, about three weeks from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. trying to figure out people the exact same age as you who's gonna succeed. Um, and I can tell you, the dean talked about it. We we spend so much time interviewing data, everything like that. And I can tell you one thing with confidence, having worked on the NBA draft and in the NBA for 16 years, is, and that's nobody knows anything. <laughs> Whenever you think you have the pattern for which player is going to succeed, um, maybe they're athletic, maybe they're tall, maybe they have grit, as the dean just said, maybe they, um, maybe they had the best rebounding or was on a successful team like Northwestern was last year making the tournament. Whenever you, that was pretty fun, I hope, I hope, I hope people who, did anyone get to go to Salt Lake last year? That was fun, so sounds like no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. I tell you this not to, not to, because I'm supposed to give advice, and I'll just tell you, they're, they're really, shout out to computer science. I think that's right there. That's my, that's my year, and it's the largest group out of McCormick now, which when I was there, it was like 20, and there's no women, and now we have, now I think there's 20 women graduates from computer science, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, so I, I say that not to be defeatist, but mostly to, to make sure you guys know you're on a level playing field. I, I work with billionaires, I work with super successful people. I can promise you they don't know more than you do, but they, they don't. Uh, and I'll talk about some of my story. Obviously, I, I've been very fortunate in many ways. There's obviously been a ton of work for myself and the team I work with at the Rockets, but I've been, I've been very fortunate. So basically, here, if you want the best example for why no one can predict, you know, who's going to do well or what are those traits, uh, although I'll get to a few that actually give you a little bit of an edge. So we have found a few that give you a little bit of an edge in the NBA draft. But if we could show the picture uh, that I had, I don't know. Is that up, guys? All right, yeah, so, all right. This is analog Facebook, all right? This, is, this was the Facebook when I was in school, um, no one would predict I would, I would end up doing what I'm doing now. In fact, I started in applied math, which is over, over here. Quickly figured out that was not for me. Uh, love computer science, by the way. Um, so I, the main thing that I take away when I look at that picture is I wasn't even smart enough to know what Facebook was for when I was in school. So it wasn't until I graduated that I realized it's just for the women to look through it and find someone they may want to find. So I'm, <laughs> I'm like saying I'm into like math and stuff. Like no, no women uh, were interested in me at all. Uh, thankfully one is my wife is here and she's a McCormick graduate. She's actually the only ever graduate of McCormick and Medill at the same time, so that's pretty cool. Um, so shout out to Ellen, my son Scott, and my, my dad's in the audience, uh, which is pretty special. So, um, so 
There are a few things we have found, though, that, that help us predict who's going to be good later. And I, I can't tell you how much we study this, right? So people will talk about this, but it's, it's really about track record. So it's what you've done to this point will actually be the best predictor. But I can't, it's a very bad predictor, right? So, and one thing I realize, and I talk to many people your age, and most of them actually say, look, I don't, the reason we can't figure it out who's going to succeed is they don't know who they are. And I hear that, I hear that all the time. They don't, they don't know who they are. So I can tell you one thing. Um, who you are is actually what you do every day. Who you are is what you do every day. It's your, it's your habits. Your habits create your track record. And that's the number one thing. So if you're, if, and the key habit, honest, the key habit we've found, and this has been studied in other fields as well, is are you able, are you able to take every day, make sure the most important thing for you, and who knows what that is, Whatever the most important thing is for you, make sure, make sure you're doing it. So put, put first things first. That's, that's the number one important thing, and that's why track record will predict the most in the future. Um, so I'll talk about, I'm gonna grab some water, one second. I only got a couple more minutes, so I'm gonna talk about My, there are gonna be, there's gonna be key moments in your life. And my favorite phrase, and if you go on my Twitter, <laughs> maybe I'll get some Twitter followers here, D. Maury. So get some Twitter followers. Um, my key phrase is opportunity is not a lengthy visitor. And the Dean embarrassed me talking about this musical I worked on. Um, I'm a big musical fan. Um, and so what does that mean? What does that mean? And I can tell you, in my life, that's been the key thing. And that's to know, you can do all the preparation you can, and you guys all did it, but you have to know at the key moments in your life when to jump on that opportunity. You can't put yourself half into it. You've got to put yourself full into it. My first one was actually uh, at Northwestern. Uh, and that's, that was meeting my wife, Ellen, uh, on the Lakeville. Um, I, about a month from now, I get married, by the way, so I don't know if that's happening anywhere, but on the lake, Phil, I met, I met Ellen. The most important relationship you're ever going to have is, is your significant other, if you choose to go that route. Uh, <laughs> so I spent a lot of time making sure. Now, computer science, you guys know about the stopping problem, right? It's like when you're trying to optimize, when do you stop? I met Ellen in New Student Week, and I stopped. I, I said, that's the one. So, sp <laughs> so spend a lot of time. Spend a lot, that's the most important relationship. So that was my first opportunity that I, that I jumped on. Uh, the next one, and this one was also at Northwestern, was Bill James. I don't know if people saw the movie Moneyball. People see that movie? Okay, so Bill James, famous father of baseball statistics, happened to be working in the town next to North, North, Northbrook, I think, or Lincolnshire, I can't remember. Um, I saw that was the case, and I was, as you saw from my analog Facebook, I was big into baseball, basketball, everything. I jumped on that. I harassed them until they hired me. Uh, and that, that was such a key moment. Now, I would say, besides your habits, the, the, the next biggest trait that determines people your age. And again, I talk to 200 people exactly your age coming out of the MBA every year. And I would say the number one trait besides your habits is pretty simple. And the Dean talked about it. Keep going. No matter what, keep going. It sounds simple, but when I see players fail, it's because they don't have that. They call it grit now. I think there's a lot of research on it. I just say keep going. So when I graduated from school, I wanted to work in sports, sent my resume to every team, every team in the, 
in the country. Basketball, baseball, not a single response. So I decided, well, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get rich, basically. That's the only way I'm going to own a team. That didn't really work out either. But keep going. So when things seem, when things seem tough, honestly, if you just get up the next day, put your first things first, and keep going, that's the key thing. So I would say remember that. When our players have a tough time, it's all about keep going. Um, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to say the last thing. <laughs> the last thing is um, my last moment was where I had to jump on an opportunity. And again, it, I can't stress it's not a lengthy visitor. <laughs> like, you have these key moments. I was working and consulting, trying to get rich, not working. Um, and basically, all of a sudden, the, the owners of the Celtics came and hired our firm. I did everything I did. I, harass, I knew the owner, of the owner of the firm really well by then. I told him, you have to put me on this case. I worked at Stats Inc. I worked for Bill James. You have to put me on this case. And I got on that case. And I still remember this moment in my life. I spent all night. I didn't even go to sleep studying the collective bargaining agreement. And anyone who knows basketball, that's like 500 pages. And it's really detailed. So spent all night had the meeting, and at the end of the meeting, the owner of the Celtics, who gave me my first opportunity, Wick Grousebeck, he said, you look good in green. I remember that day forever. Um, and that's what started my career. But I can promise you, a lot, of, a lot of folks I know are really good. Their moment came, and they didn't recognize it, and they didn't jump on it. So habits, keep going, jump on the opportunities. Thanks, everyone, this morning. Appreciate it. Congrats on graduating. That's tough. Thank you. Thanks, parents.